Hi everybody, it's Sean McCormick and I'm going to do a very quick introduction video to LRB exhibition here, just to give you an idea. And basically what I do, I, you always start off with one collection, so we have a collection of images which I've now sorted into the positions where I want to be in galleries. So I have a couple of pictures of ladies, uh, 17 here to be precise, 18. Then I have a couple of pictures of guys, then I have some band shots, some small landscapes, some kind of urban shots, and then uh, a bunch of landscapes. So I'm going to build them into galleries. I'm just going to, they're already sorted in order, and you literally just drag and drop to get them into the exact order you want them to be in. Nothing more than that, just inside a gallery. Or sorry, rather, inside a collection. So from there we're going to go to web. We're now inside web, so I'm just going to have a quick run through what's here. So we have LRB exhibition, which is our identity plate, controlled by the identity plate, which is in the appearance section here. Then we have the text area over the home page, and we have the menu down here, and we have the footer, which is our copyright image, and we have an image. The premise of the design is just that you've got a large image and everything kind of works around the image. Uh, you can move and change sizes and things like that, which we'll just look at now. So I'm going to go very quickly to the home page. We can see we've got our home page set. Well, I'm going to, we're going to have a, use warnings. I have some dialog boxes that let you know that you don't have enough images, basically. That's what that is. Site title is here. Um, and page header is what literally goes at the top of the page. You need to change that. For SEO, I'd have things like Sean McCormick, Headshot Photographer, Go away, Sean McCormick, Landscape Photographer, whatever you have on the website. Uh, the copyright is what's down here at the bottom. And just so you can say, uh, copyright, you know, your name for your images. SEO just allows you to put in metadata description, which would be just like Sean McCormick, uh, Headshot Photographer, Go away. Uh, Sean is an award-winning photographer, etc things like that keywords we'd have things like photographer portrait just a list of keywords that describe what the website is about now we have home page settings and these are kind of repeated for the about page and the, for the blank page so you get an idea very quickly just from seeing this one and um, show home page and menu it just literally has that there and um, so if i turn it off we can see that it's gone out of the menu show home page text adds or removes that just so you can have just the image on the page if you want to start with uh, welcome note is what you see here and there's also a second paragraph so you could have I'm just going to type in home so you can see that there's a second paragraph there uh, you can change the sizes here and the position so you can actually move this across the page and stuff and um, you can change exactly where it is on the page with that and then you can also change the height of it so you can actually pretty much put the text box wherever you want there's also a border on it so you can turn on and off the border if you like. This is pretty much the same for the about page. If we go to the about page, uh, you can turn it on and off in the menu. You can also move that around as much as you want. Of course, you can change the image. So uh, I could have it like, uh, let's have a quick peek here and see what's kind of, uh, say this. we could have four here, say if you wanted. Just gonna press four and image four will show up there. Um, you can align the images on the page as well. That's the same up in home so you can have the image wherever you want it on the actual page itself the contact page is similar to an LRB portfolio so if you need to know more about that you can actually look at the that user guide uh, these bits are here for are the same for the positioning uh, but you can also have stuff that you can add you can use the contact form or not and you can just put in contact details instead if you want and um, you can have Facebook and all that kind of stuff added if you like uh, you need to obviously add in details and stuff like that. Blank again is the same. The, the external links just let you put in extra links basically. Gallery 1 settings. Okay, so we're just going to jump into Gallery 1. Now we said before that we have 18 images for girls. And this should show 18 images. I'm just going to jump to the last image here. To take a second to create. You can also use the arrow keys to go through them as well. Uh, gallery 2, we said, is the guys. We said there was eight images of guys, I think it was. Let's have a quick count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Counting my young lad as a guy. 8. And so we go to Gallery 2. We can see we have the eight images here. And we can click on 8 to go to the last image. Then with band images, we can see that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Seven band images. Seven. What I should do is I should actually name that as well. So band. Guy. 
guys and girls just just for example this is now I'm obviously going to start using more gallery so gallery 4 I'm going to use and gallery 4 is going to be the small 1, 2, 3, 4 uh, that's in the wrong place and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 images for the small so small landscape I'll just type in small for now and that's 5 and we, and we click 5 and we see there's 5 images now these have to generate obviously so we can click on there or again we can use these arrows next we have urban and we need to have uh, one two three four five six seven eight images there eight images there um, so urban you see we have the eight images there first and last images should check that they're up and running and then our last galleries are our landscapes we just check how many images that the landscapes has and it has one two three four six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen just type in sixteen here and then we go to the landscapes and we can see our first image corresponds and we click on sixteen we can see that, that gives us our last image now let's say for example that I type in 17 so I'm looking for more images than I have available you get the dialog box telling you to you have less image selected than the total required so you need to select more images in this case you don't actually have to select more images you can just type in 16 to give you the correct number of images it's really just a reminder to let you know that you need to have the correct number of images so that's basically how you just get the gallery up and going quickly. Now you can, there's lots of stuff you can change, like you can change the body colour. Now in this case I actually have a, a background image, so changing the colour won't make a difference here. Uh, portfo portfolio colour is the colour inside the gap. Uh, the about text is the text on the about page. You can change the colour. Again, all of these are, you can change the different colours and you can change the copyright text as well. Um, the links here and the links over here can all be changed with these colours here basically. Uh, we've mentioned the identity plate. You can turn on and off the identity plate. And um, you can change the position of the identity plate. And you can also change the position of the menu. Uh, with galleries, you can change the position of the numbers. But obviously, as the warning says here, it's only visible on a gallery page. You can't see it on the other pages. You can change the character set. There's a list of them there. Uh, UTF-8 and 16 are common ones, as is the ISO one that I'm using here as the default. You can change the fonts that are internal as well as the body sizes and headline sizes and things like that for the pages. The menu settings let you change things here. Uh, there is one thing that I should mention as well is that if you want, uh, oh I should mention this as well quickly before I do that, the these images here that you see in the galleries, these are here. So if you actually go inside the plugin as shown on the resources folder on uh, YouTube you'll find the link in my video section or at, as user Lightroom blog on YouTube you can see how to get into the resources file but you can then edit that file in uh, Photoshop and you can make whatever uh, area you want I'll probably do that as another video tutorial on its own you can reduce the height and width of the photograph if you want to make the f portfolio color act as a frame around it uh, but I deliberately left this as the maximum size it can be because that's the maximum size of the design that's meant to be like this uh, and I was going to say, if you want to say up here, we've done something here where, like, you basically for the gallery links, we'll go to the gallery, and we've said here that you have like girls. But if you want, you could actually put in an actual physical image link. You could put in image code, HTML image code, and you could have that link to an image. The image would need to be inside the resources images folder, which again was covered in that video on resources. So that's just a very quick run through LRB exhibition and getting you going with it.